Oh, hello everyone, I am Monica from IELTS 9. So here we, I am here to help you in sorting out the problem of multiple choice questions from IELTS listening that is book number 12 and of course test number 5 is this and section 2. Yeah, so I will be doing 13 questions over here and every type of multiple choice questions I have covered. So here shorter uh, options are there. So if you ask me about tricks, so really in this world there is no trick and tip kind of thing but but yes definitely i'm going to, you are in this on this video so i will definitely i will tell you the tricks side by side let me show the questions what we are going to do it and do you also have to do with me okay so first short uh, short options with mcqs now next type of i will be doing choose two letters so big five options are there next type of questions i will be doing it this also so although i know this is not mcq but still in flow we will be doing this also but uh, next one is next the uh, paper on public libraries so with big uh, options we have been given so now point here how to find the correct answer that is more important so one thing in the name of trick or tip one thing you should always remember they will be paraphrasing the things so just note down these points i am paraphrasing is a common thing everyone will be telling you one more important thing after this second point i will be telling you after explaining first just uh, stay on paraphrasing you know they will be saying the same thing in different uh, language okay so for that you need to learn some common vocabulary words and its synonyms like variety of work what you can think variety of different type of work different instead of work they will be saying some uh, you have to do some different um, uh, di uh, different because they are uh, talking about kitchen so you have to cook different type of uh, uh, cuisines or uh, food so in indirectly they are talking about variety of work also they are talking but second second trick second tip is here whatever the answer is there <clears throat> for answer they will speak more suppose this is the answer they will speak more uh, by paraphrasing only no no doubt when there are short type of mcqs are there they always will be using paraphrasing same word will not be there so coming to my important point whatever the answer is there they will speak more yes definitely and they will not provide any solution kind of thing so suppose these two are not options okay definitely they will focus on these options also but side by side they will negate it it means they will give some negativity they will say some negative point uh, negative thing about the about thing or side by side they can give some solution to this problem every option they will speak in different language but if the answer uh, suppose b is not the answer definitely they will speak some negative uh, a negative thing or point about the about this and or they can provide you some solutions it means there is no this is not the option okay so let's do it with me one by one after every uh, question when speaker will be saying i will stop the video uh, uh, sorry i will stop the audio and i will just tell you that he was giving some solution or he was saying some negativity about the point that's why they are not the option okay so in 30 seconds what you can read it let's read it because they will be giving only 30 seconds so i will just play it for 30 seconds and uh, because there are only three questions in 30 seconds what you are going to do i will show it to you let's start my 30 seconds Now 30 seconds are over. In fact, I have taken more time. I will play the audio now. 
and one by one after every question i will ask you your answer and i will give me my answer and with explanation if you do uh, two three videos with me with mcq definitely you will improve your score They enjoy the work. Okay, they might get shouted at sometimes, but it's nothing. The questions 11 to 16. Good morning, everyone. My name's Joy Parkins, and I'm the restaurant manager. And I understand that none of you have had any previous experience as kitchen assistants. Well, you might be feeling a bit nervous now, but most of our kitchen assistants say they enjoy the work. Okay, they might get shouted at sometimes, but it's nothing personal. And they're pleased that they have so many different things to do, which means they never get bored. And I'll tell you straight away that if you do well, we might think about moving you up and giving you some more responsibility. Right, well, you've all shown up on time, which is an excellent start. Now, I'm now, what is your answer? Please tell. So, now, for this friendly atmosphere, so, she get, uh, she, she told nothing to be personal. Okay. So, it means that is not a uh, answer. Okay. About variety, different variety of work. And she said, you will net, uh, never get bored. So, that is also thing. Okay. So, same thing she was saying about but uh, nothing uh, she had talked about uh, negativity about this point what about promotion opportunities for promotion also she said so what do you think uh, most people now we have uh, understood the things they had uh, um, uh, that lady was saying but according to the manager what do most people like about the job of kitchen friendly atmosphere she 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 did negation and opportunities for promotion everyone is not after promotion actually first they will not get bored like means they were liking it because they were not getting bored that's the answer with this okay let's coming to 12th number question you up and giving you some more responsibility right well you've all shown up on time which is an excellent start now, I'm glad to see none of you have unsuitable footwear, so that's good. You need to be careful as the floors can get very wet and slippery. Those of you with long hair have got it well out of the way, but some of you will need to remove your rings and bracelets. Just put them somewhere safe for today and remember to leave them at home tomorrow as they can be a safety hazard. Now, it's going... Now, what is your answer? So she was worried about jewelry. She was worried about the, the students are were wearing rings and all. Today you can keep it in uh, uh, cupboard and all. She said and uh, shoes. She was happy because everyone was wearing. Uh, no one was wearing unsuitable shoes because the staff uh, because the floor was slippery. So that is not the option. Hairstyles. So she, she said something like. Uh, uh, but she was worried because manager is concerned concerned means worried so you need to understand the demand of the question if you have understood everything but if you give answer according to her list uh, uh, whatever she is saying but focus on this also Mani the, what the question is demanding the manager is concerned about some of the new staff were wearing rings and other things so that's the thing that will come answer okay coming to 13th the manager says that the day is likely to be busy is likely to be busy for kitchen staff because so it is uh, likely to be busy what do you mean by likely to be busy and try to understand because it is a public holiday that's why it is a uh, it is likely to be busy the head is the head chef is uh, absent or the restaurant is almost fully booked so you you just listen it to uh, listen to her and then uh, tell me the answer to be a busy day for you all today we don't have any tables free for this evening and only a few for lunch fortunately we've got our head chef back he was away on holiday all last week which meant the other chefs had extra work now i'll tell you a bit more about the job in a minute so what is your answer head chef is back it means this answer is opposite 
पब्लिक हॉलीडे पब्लिक हॉले हॉलीडे डजन मीन दैट यू आर गोइंग टू बी बिजी फॉर किचन स्टाफ द रेस्टोरेंट इज ऑलमोस्ट फुली बुक्ड ओनली लंच टाइम देर देर आर सम सीट्स इट मीन्स दिस विल कम इज लाइकली टू बी बिजी फॉर किचन स्टाफ सो डेट विल कम job in a minute but first some general regulations for all of you whatever your age there's some equipment you mustn't use until you've been properly trained like the waste disposal system for example for health and safety reasons then i think there are two of you here who are under 18 that's emma and jake isn't it right so for you two the meat slicer is out of bound are you someone looking to start you mustn't use until you've been properly trained like the waste disposal system for example for health and safety reasons then i think there are two of you here who are under 18 that's emma and jake isn't it right so for you two the meat slicer is out of bounds and of course none of you are allowed to use the electric mixer until you've been shown how it works now you may have heard so now what is your answer so he said emma and jack they are under 18 so out of bound means they can't use this meat slicer and waste disposable unit so uh, she said something And out of so for this also whatever the age is the, you will be given training so electric mixer you can use so um, question says uh, who are under 18 or older are allowed to use okay or older under everyone can use it means electric mixer can use it after uh, showing up how it is uh, to be used so answer will be b okay coming to second type of question a stressful job and i have to say that can be true you'll be working an 8 hour day for the first week though you'll have the chance to do overtime after that as well if you want to but however long the hours are you'll get a break in the middle what you will find is that you're on your feet all day long lifting and carrying so if you're not fit now you soon will be You'll find you don't have much chance to take it easy when someone tells you to do something you need to do it straight away but at least we do have a very efficient air conditioning system compared with some kitchens So for every option they have given uh, they have given a negative uh, they have given some solution so kitchen gets very hot for that she was saying air condition is the so they may not be able to take a break so opposite thing she said you can uh, you will be able to get some breaks uh, you have to do they have to do overtime also for that also she said something so uh, you have to enjoy when uh, you are following when someone is telling you to bring someone something she had talked about so it means they have to follow orders immediately yes definitely when someone is saying to bring something then you have to take uh, to that uh, person it means you have to follow orders immediately this will come and your work is physically demanding but soon you will be uh, you will be in shape it means this is a positive point for you so this will also come okay so you need to just listen to the story what she is telling you for that story first you understand the question statement what is the demand and what is the demand after that how she is explaining the things she is giving uh, negative things means she is saying some uh, uh, opposite thing uh, about after the option and others uh, for others she is giving options so kitchen gets very hot but side by side she uh, she gave the reasonings like ac is also working so it means this is negative this will not come okay so these two were the options let's move on to the next question so let's read this one also 
so you can see uh, choose four answers from the box and write the correct letter a to f so these are the uh, options and four questions are there so for when they will be giving some time so no need to read these ones because they will, a speaker will say these names definitely he can't change these names anything must be given so no need to read you need to understand these things what are the options because in front of these we have to write only alphabets so responsibility training courses food stocks first aid first aid means medical related food stock means uh, uh, food related uh, quantity or items breakages when some something is breaking in uh, so they are talking about kitchen and all so some uh, some glass uh, uh, some glass we are or plates may be breaking staff discounts so when staff is uh, just purchasing something from that hotel or kitchen uh, they can get some discounts timetables will be there so that they can become punctual training courses so let's find so we have to match these names with this when he will be saying just listen it to properly okay you need to know so as i said i'm joy parkins and I decide who does what during the day and how long they work for. I'll be trying to get you to work with as many different people in the kitchen as possible so that you learn while you're on the job. One person whose name you must remember is David Field. If you injure yourself at all, even if it's really minor, you must report to him and he'll make sure the incident is recorded and you get the appropriate treatment. He's trained to give basic treatment to staff himself, or he'll send you off somewhere else if necessary. Then there's Dexter Wills. He's the person you need to see if you smash a plate or something like that. Don't just leave it and hope no one will notice. It's really important to get things noted and replaced, or there could be problems later. And finally, there's Mike Smith. He's the member of staff who takes care of all the stores of perishables. So if you notice we're getting low in flour or sugar or something, make sure you let him know so he can put in an order. Okay, now... Now, answers I have already given because it was so easy to find the answers. Like Joy Parkins, she was saying, I will decide which course and where to go and everything. It means timetables she will decide. David Fields, he was uh, talking about something uh, uh, physically or uh, like uh, some accident, incident, incident he was talking about. It may, incident means in kitchen or uh, somewhere else, you need first aid. Okay, so for that break is smash of, uh, smashed of plates, she said. Smashed of plates means breakages in kitchen, plates and all. So that's why this is answer. Mike Smith means B because she was talking about perishable goods perishable means food items so that was the answer so that's why these all are uh, free marks if if we are getting these kinds of uh, stuff also so you can easily do it don't leave this uh, these questions uh, so unattempted okay so coming to the bigger mcqs now these are bigger MCQs. So what will be the main topic of the Trudy and uh, so they will be giving 30 seconds. Let's do it in 30 seconds. Main topic of these persons. So how public library services are organized in different countries. How changes in societies are reflected in public libraries. How the funding of has changed. Okay. They agree that one disadvantage of free digitalized book is that they may take a long time to read. They can be difficult to read. They are generally old. Okay. Uh, this person expects that in the future libraries will be maintain their traditional functions. That is out of way. Because in future we can't get the same kind of library. Become centers for local communities. Okay. Uh, no longer contain any books. This might be the answer. But yes, we should not guess it out. Okay. Let's, uh, let's play this thing. So whatever I told you, just I am just remembering you again. Uh, reminding you again because we need to understand the uh, question and we have underlined the things but we don't we will not get be, we will not be getting uh, th th uh, much time for reading all the questions that's why under, under uh, read the question statement if you don't have time okay so uh, 
definitely for every option whatever the option will be there so here also he will try to paraphrase the thing but side by side if the option suppose b option is not there he will give some solution also or he can say some negative point about about the option which is not the answer okay let's coming to the uh, audio i will play it now and answer questions 21 to 23 Okay, Stuart. We need to start planning our paper on public libraries. Have you thought of an angle yet? Well, there's so much we could look into. How libraries have changed over the centuries, for instance, or how different countries organise them. What do you think, Trudy? Maybe we should concentrate on this country and try and relate the changes in libraries to external developments, like the fact that far more people can read than a century ago. Mm. and that the local population may speak lots of different languages we could include something about changes in the source of funding too yes but remember we're only supposed to write a short paper so it's probably best if we don't go into funding in any detail right well shall we just brainstorm a few ideas to get started okay we obviously need to look at the impact of new technology particularly the internet Now that lots of books have been digitalized, people can access them from their own computers at home. And if everyone did that, libraries would be obsolete. Yes. But the digitalized books that are available online for free are mostly out of copyright, aren't they? And copyright in this country lasts for 70 years after the author dies. So you won't find the latest bestseller or up-to-date information. That's an important point. Anyway, I find it hard to concentrate when I'm reading a long text on a screen. I'd much rather read a physical book, and it takes longer to read on a screen. Oh, I prefer it. I suppose it's just a personal preference. Mm, I expect the libraries will go on evolving in the next few years. Some have already become centers where community activities take place, like local clubs meeting there. I think that will become even more common. I'd like to think so, and that they'll still be serving their traditional function. But I'm not so sure. There are financial implications after all. What I'm afraid will happen is that books and magazines will all disappear and they'll just be rows and rows of computers. They won't look anything like the libraries we're used to. Well, we'll see. Now, what is your answer? You must have written in your copies. So first, uh, what will be the main topic? So they were saying uh the, how public libraries are organized in different countries so that uh, that boy was saying so she say, she said maybe okay means no the answer so how changes in societies are reflected in public library so uh, they were talking about languages and other things and they were saying yes yes the lady uh, the girl was saying yes and which is the best option okay so about funding of public libraries she said something it will a long uh, discussion something like she said it means that is not a option so this option will come b will come okay so try to understand their story i know some words they are just uh, swelling it i mean um, we can't understand their an accent but doesn't matter most 95% or 90% we are able to understand their language so that is the main thing so focus on their stories as well as what she is saying maybe yes or uh, some some emotions kind of thing when they are saying it means that is the option okay now 22 what she said they agree one disadvantage so they were talking uh, for uh, for much time about the writer uh, uh, after the death 70 or more more years so something she was saying about disadvantage of free digitalized book is that so they made so for, okay if we don't understand this then coming to this point when she was when he was saying uh, take a long time to read then she said physical i would rather prefer to read physical books okay it means that is not the answer or can be difficult to read that is also uh, they were saying uh, difficult to read uh, but i can manage something she, he had said so so it means that is also not the option only this one is left and initially when they started this topic then they talked about uh, indirectly about this uh, old kind of thing old um, authors are old and after that uh, uh, and after their death some uh, long time long period is uh, given for uh, something they were talking about so according to my when this will come 
okay so now 23rd what they were saying steward experts that expects that in the future libraries definitely i was saying uh, so side by side make your notes evolve means changing they were talking maintain their traditional function so not sure uh, the girl was saying not sure the boy was saying that or they can maintain then she said not sure it means this is not the answer b become centers for local communities also she uh, he was saying something but um, uh, there was no uh, positive result for this point so last he said um, there will be no books only rows of computers and computers so books will be disappearing it means disappearing means no longer contain any books so this will answer thank you so much do much practice with me i will be bringing more mcqs video some some mcqs if you do it with me for two three videos at least definitely you will improve but but for that you need to learn uh, common vocabulary words and their synonyms